online degree, you're going to use your computer a lot. After all, this is an online degree. In this video, I'm going to cover the various software that I've used to complete my online degrees and why. I'm only going to focus on general software that everyone will need and I'm not going to talk about the more specialized software that you might need for your degree. So let's start. First is Microsoft Word. There are different options out there that you can use for writing your documents such as Google Docs and Apple Pages. However, I've tried all of them and I keep coming back to Microsoft Word. Say what you want about how bloated it is, how you need to take a dedicated course just to learn how to use it. I still think it's the best word processing software that you can use as a student. It has far superior tools for many of the things that we use, such as spell checking, managing citations, document formatting, including templates for ADA, which is really great. Um, adding images, um, uh, integrating uh, Excel sheets, and, and creating tables. Um, I know that you can do all of that with other software, but in my opinion, it's not going to be as easy as it is with Word. Even better, as a student, you can get Office 365 from Microsoft for free, and you can't beat that price, right? Next on the list is Microsoft Excel. The same thing as with Word. You can find alternatives to Microsoft Excel. However, in my opinion, none of them are going to work nearly as well. Excel can be very complicated to work with, but if you have to do simple stuff, it's not that hard. One thing that I like about Excel is that it's so widely used that it's truly easy to find help online. Um, even better, when I had courses that required me to use a spreadsheet, they always had examples and tools that work with Excel. Not that much uh, uh, for other software such as Google Sheets and Apple Numbers. Another advantage uh, for using Excel is that you can easily integrate data from Excel into Word documents, which I found to be really useful when I had to write a paper and it required me to show information that I calculated using Excel. The same as with Word, you, you get it for free uh, as a student. Next is OneNote. As part of Office 365, you get this nifty little software that a lot of people know about called OneNote. Uh, now think about OneNote as a virtual notebook that you can use for each one of your classes to collect data. Uh, what I like about it is how easy, how easy it is to copy paste information from one place into your OneNote. Um, you can paste a web page, a screenshot, uh, some, text, some text that you mark with your mouse, and, 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 and so on. Since you're already going to do most of your studying using online materials, it's very easy to mesh them with OneNote. You see something that you think you might need later, you simply uh, mark it, copy it, and paste it into OneNote. Some people like to use a software called Evernote for exactly the same reason, but I think OneNote is superior and it is free. Next is Snagit. Snagit is a cool little screen capture tool from a company called TechSmith uh, that I use to capture my screen all the time. It costs about $20 for student, but I think it's worth, uh, worth the cost. As an online student, you're going to find that you want to screen capture materials all the time. What I like about Snagit is how simple they made it. You simply push the print screen button on your keyboard, you mark the area you want to capture, and that's it. There are ways to do this uh, uh, without a dedicated software that are uh, free, but I find that they always require you to do some extra steps and with Snagit, um, they take care of all of it, which I really like and think it's worth the extra money. The next one is Grammarly. If your spelling and grammar is at an acceptable level, maybe this is not something you need, but my spelling and grammar is abysmal. As you can notice with my accent, English is not my first language, so my grammar and spelling in English are not good. Grammarly is a software that's dedicated to helping you with spelling and more importantly, uh, helping you with your grammar and your style. Uh, they have a plugin for Word and an app that you can install on your computer. I've used them for writing all of my papers and to be honest, since I got it, I use it for everything I write. 
I find that they provide excellent suggestions, uh, but also that in the process, they're helping me improve my writing. They have a free version and a premium version. I started with the free version. I liked it so much that I uh, decided to pay for the yearly subscription for the premium service. Um, it cost me about $70 for 12 months, which I got during one of their sales. Next on our list is Calendar. A calendar is your best friend when you're an online degree student. Unlike a traditional university where you have classes with time and places where you gotta show up, with an online degree, it's all your responsibility. Without an online calendar and reminders, you're gonna get lost and you're gonna start procrastinating your studies. For many online students, this is the single most challenging aspect of an online degree how to avoid procrastination. One of the best tools to help you is to keep an online calendar where you set up your study times. It's gonna help you create a mental and physical commitment to study every day, and it's gonna send you those reminders to make sure that you do it. It helps, trust me. I use Google Calendar. Uh, it's connected to my Gmail account uh, since I have an Android uh, device. But honestly, any online calendar that works for you and your mobile device will do just fine. What I would do is every week on Sunday night, before I went to bed, I would plan ahead and set up uh, reminders and, and spaces on my calendar to remind me that I need to study and when. Um, it only took five minutes, but it was a tremendous help. Next on our list is Skype. I'm in no way a heavy Skype user. In fact, I don't think I use it that often. However, when you have to interact with other students online uh, for a class, Skype is the best solution. It's easy to set up, it provides excellent voice and text communication, and it allows for conference calls. You're not gonna need to interact with other students that much during your online degree. However, when you do, Skype seems to be a good option for everyone to work with. The cool kids nowadays, they use an, uh, an alternative called Slack, uh, but I find that Slack is not as good in terms of voice conversations and especially conference calls. But I hear people do like it, so you should check it out and see if it might be a better fit for you. Um, that's it. Um, I've only covered in this video a few of the essential software you'll need for an online degree. There are many others that I didn't cover, uh, such as Anki and Quizlet for flashcards. I didn't talk about uh, presentations with PowerPoints or with slides. Um, and, and of course, anything that has to do with streaming music or any other uh, software. But that said, I'm sure that you'll be able to figure those on your own um, as you need. Um, that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.